What's up people, it's DevSage here and in this video I'm going to be teaching you about the map array method. So the map array method is a higher order function in JavaScript. It's a function that either takes in another function as an argument or that returns a function. That, that's what a higher order function is. So map is an array higher order function that basically allows you to loop over each of the elements in some array and apply a callback function to each element in that array. And the return result for each callback function call will be stored in a new array. So let me show you what I mean by that. So let's start with, let's, let's create an array. Let's say const r equals uh, one, two, three, four, five. And let's say we wanted to multiply every element in this array by two and just basically create a brand new array with two, four, six, eight, and 10. So we can use map to do this. So if we wanted a new array, let's say const uh, times two equals, and we can say r dot map and map takes in a callback function that you want to apply to each element in the original array. So let's do that. We can define an arrow function and whatever we want. Oh, and also the argument in this arrow function is going to be, let's call it in, which represents the current element that map is looking at. So remember I said the callback function is going to get applied to each element in the original array. And the variable in here represents each individual element in the original array. Okay. All right. So what do we do in the callback function? So remember that I said that the return result for each of these callback calls is going to represent the new value in the new array at that position. So let's say, so we said we wanted to multiply the number times two. So let's say return in times two and that should do it so let's console log our original array and let's also console log our times two array here and let's run this and boom we have our original array here one two three four five and we also have our times two array which called array.map and then took in a callback function, which returned twice of each element in the original array. And we have a brand new array here with two, four, six, eight, and 10. One thing to note that's kind of important is that map always returns a new array. It does not modify the original array. So if you were to do something like this, if you were to forget to assign this to a variable, this effectively is not doing anything because map doesn't modify the original array. It returns a new array. So if I were to run this now, well, let's, let's comment this line out and just console log R. We get the original one, two, three, four, five, because map doesn't change the original array. So one other thing, so let's, first add this back so times two uh, so one other thing to note is that this callback function that's inside of map can actually take in another argument called index which represents the current index that the callback function is looking at in the original array so we can make decisions or do things with this index here as well so let's say instead of returning the actual value times two Let's return the index times two. So let's print times two again. So as you can see, we have zero, two, four, six, eight, which correspond to the zero based index of each of the elements. So the index zero times two is zero. The index one times two is two. Index two times two is four and so on and so forth. And that's actually pretty much it for a map.
it's a higher order function. In this case, it's a function that takes in another function um, that applies some callback function to all of the elements in one array and returns a new array with the results based off of the logic inside of the callback function. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more content of mine, join my Discord. I created a Discord community where web developers can come and learn from each other and network and grow. So if that if you feel that's interesting, if you want to kind of join in, the link is going to be in the description. So uh, I look forward to seeing you there. But uh, other than that, peace. Thank you.